Hey everybody, Larry here. Welcome back. So today I'm going to be looking at this robot leg. I plan to eventually work my way up to a full four-legged robot dog. And this is sort of a first prototype, uh, Rev Zero, using some cheap components and uh, small 3D printed parts to speed up development. I'm going to be talking about adding a couple extra wires to this bundle today that are going to allow me to sense the position uh, or angle of each of these joints. Typically, RC servos only have three cables, the power, ground, and uh, input signal. That input signal is commanding the servo uh, to a specific location. And typically, they do not provide any sort of feedback. So these blue wires here are wires that I've added on uh, into each of these servos that allows me to read the feedback potentiometer inside uh, that relates the output angle uh, with a voltage. So why don't we crack the back off of one of these servos and uh, I'll show you how I added in that wire. All right, so now that we're inside, we can take a look at the little circuit board in there and I'll get a close-up shot of that and we can start poking around after we supply some power to it and try to figure out where the signal is that we wanna pull out of this. All right, so I got the servo here mounted up in my little vise, and I have my voltmeter over here. So if we start probing some of these pins, I think these three pins right here are good candidates. Here we have, you know, close to 3.3. What I've done is I've put a, the, one of the servo horns on there. And as we rotate this, we expect that voltage on the voltmeter to change. It doesn't seem to be changing. Try this middle one. If we push the horn, you can see it's already changing a little bit. There we go. So you can see that voltage changes as we rotate the servo output shaft. So this middle pin is the one that we're going to want to read. So why don't we fire up the soldering iron and let's tack a lead onto there and uh, snake it out the body so that we have access to that value externally. With that lead tacked, now it's time to close things up. One thing with this is on the lid side, there's this little gap, and that's where this grommet used to fit. Now with this extra wire in there, it's gonna be too thin. So we're gonna have to take this little file and uh, work down one of those edges in order to make it fit. Let's do a little test fit. A little snug, but that'll do. Let's get everything reassembled. Right, now with it back assembled, I think it's time to plug it back into the Arduino and make sure we didn't break anything. All right, so we have the servo set back up, connected to the Arduino. And uh, over here we have the terminal again. And let's uh, set 90 and see what happens. All right, so it looks like it's uh, successfully reading the angle there. We haven't screwed anything up. Seems like it's working all right. Each sensor might be a little bit uh, different, uh, each uh, servo that is. So the mapping values will have to be custom uh, to each one. So that'll take a little bit of calibration work uh, once we get everything installed into the leg. I've installed the sense wire in each of the other two servos and got them installed back into the leg. Next time I'm going to be talking more about the leg and this fixture that I built in order to help me uh, further develop the software. If you like the video, please uh, throw a like and uh, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.